Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. It is so good to see you guys on this wonderful Sunday. We're going to do some worship together, you guys. We're going to do two songs. Uh, the first song we're going to do is called uh, Tremble. This song is amazing. I really like this song. Uh, no hand motions to this song, but we do have hand motions for the next song, so don't you worry. Uh, so this song, we've, we've, we've done this one before, uh, but uh, we're just going to sing our praises to the Lord this morning. So let's do it. That song is so wonderful, and there's so much about that that is so great. But just the concept, I think, of darkness trembling is just so crazy. We serve the God of the universe, and that God of the universe is so powerful and so good and so justice-driven and mercy-driven that the evil and darkness of this world 
trembles. The evil forces of this world tremble at the thought of Jesus. I am so grateful that we serve a God. He's not like, we're not going, oh, I wonder who's going to win. Jesus is going to win. Jesus has already won. He won at the cross. The cross happened and everybody was like, oh, we, oh, Jesus is dead. Jesus rose from the grave, defeated death. The evil forces of this world, they know they're going to lose. They know they're going to lose and they tremble at the thought of Jesus. Isn't that amazing? That's the God we serve. Isn't that cool? Oh, man. Oh, such a good song. Okay. The next song we're going to do is called Jesus Loves Me. This song is so wonderful, and most of us have sung this song before. It is so much fun, and it has hand motions to it. So we're going to sing Jesus Loves Me, and then when we get to uh, the chorus, uh, we gonna, we're going to do some, I say hand motions, it's really sign language. And so it's yes... So it's, this is the sign for yes. It's like a little, imagine your your hand is a little face and it's going, mm-hmm. It's like, yep, nodding yes, but you've, you've got a clenched fist. Yes, Jesus. So you put your, it's like uh, Jesus getting nailed to the cross. He had the nails through his wrists, through his hands. And so we go, Jesus. So it's like the little holes in his hands or the holes in his wrists. Jesus loves. So it's like you're giving yourself a big hug, like, oh, Jesus loves me so much. Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible, like you're opening up the Bible, like you're opening up a book, the Bible tells, because words come out of your mouth, tells me so. Isn't that amazing? Y'all think you can do that? I say that, I know you can. Y'all are the best at hand motions ever. So we're going to sing this. And we're going to do uh, the sign language, and we'll try to play and sing at the same time. All right, here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but strong. All right, guys, let's do this sign language together. Here we go. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, let's do it one more time. Here we go, you guys. Jesus loves me, this I know. Tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, 
Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me so. Good singing, you guys. Guys, that might be one of the best worship songs we could possibly sing. And it's it literally, it like there's nothing I can add to it. Jesus loves it. This we know because scripture, because the Bible tells us so. The little ones, God's children, they belong to him. God's children, we're, we may be weak. We may not be able to do everything ourselves. But Jesus is strong. The Lord can do everything anything. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. That is such good news. Thank you guys for worshiping with me today. I love getting to worship with you guys, especially when we get to do songs like that. Jesus loves me. Are you kidding me? That song is great for for newborns, all the way until we are old, old, old. That song, I, I pray that you guys sing that song and recognize and experience that truth for the rest of your days and into eternity. I really pray that and I hope that. But thank you guys for worshiping with me. Now it's time for the Bible story. So open your ears, open your eyes, close your mouth so that we can pay attention because we're, we're talking about stuff in scripture. So let's listen. The last four kings of Judah came from King Josiah's family. His three sons, Jehoahaz, Jehoiakim, and Zedekiah, and his grandson, Jehoiakim, each ruled as the king of Judah for a short time. Jehoahaz was not king for long. He did what was evil, and the king of Egypt came and made Jehoahaz a prisoner. The king stole silver and gold from Jehoahaz. Then he put Jehoahaz's brother, Jehoiakim, on the throne. The king of Egypt took Jehoahaz to Egypt. When Jehoiakim was king of Judah, he too did what was evil. The king of Babylon attacked Jehoiakim, made him a prisoner, and took him to Babylon. The king of Babylon stole some of the things from the Lord's temple and put them in his own temple. When Jehoiakim was taken away, his son Jehoiakim became king of Judah. Jehoiakim was king of Judah for just three months. He too did what was evil. The king of Babylon sent for Jehoiakim and brought him to Babylon. The king of Babylon made Jehoiakim's uncle Zedekiah king of Judah. Like his brothers, Zedekiah did what was evil. He led the people of Judah to do evil things too. The prophet Jeremiah warned Zedekiah that God would punish him, but Zedekiah did not listen. God was angry with the people of Judah. They sinned and did not obey God, but God loved his people. He wanted them to turn back to him. God sent prophets to warn the people, but the people did not listen. Finally, it was time to judge the people of Judah for their sin. God allowed the king of Babylon and his army to attack Judah. Many of the people died. The king of Babylon took everything out of the Lord's temple and carried it back to Babylon. Then the king and his army burned the temple. They tore down the wall around the city and burned the palaces. Anything that they did not take with them was destroyed. All of the people who were still alive were taken back to Babylon. The king forced them to be slaves. Everything the prophet Jeremiah had warned about happened, just like God said it would. God was right to punish his people for their sin, but he kept his promise to provide a king through David's family. Ultimately, God punished our sin through his son, Jesus, and made him our king forever. Man, there was a lot of stuff that happened this week, wasn't there, you guys? The kingdom of Judah had a lot of kings. And there were some kings that were good kings, but there were a lot of kings who were not good kings. 
And those kings would do things that made God unhappy. They would worship false gods. They would bow to idols. And they would give allegiance to other nations instead of allegiance to God. And so we saw the kingdom of Egypt come in and put some of uh, the kings of Judah in jail. And we saw the king of Babylon. They were the worst of all. They would put some of the kings in jail, but also they came into Jerusalem and destroyed the city. They even destroyed the temple where God's presence was. And when we hear that story and we read that in the Bible, it can make us really sad and we can go, oh my goodness, how could any good come from this? But then we read on and we realize, oh my goodness, God has a plan. And this plan would keep going and it would reach the point when Jesus would come. Jesus would come and dwell with his people, and he would die for his people. Isn't that amazing, you guys? It's crazy to see this whole story where we see the people of Israel and the people of Judah who can't save themselves, but we know that in the end, God takes care of his people, and God will save his people. Guys, thank you so much for worshiping with me, for listening to the Bible story. I love you guys a whole bunch, and I will see you guys very soon. Love y'all.